Nice work. Thanks for sticking with us. We're at the last step of the lesson. Earlier, I promised you a powerful counting formula. Let's work together to see if we can develop that formula. First, notice that 6 times 5 times 4 looks a little like a factorial, except that it's missing the 3 times 2 times 1. That means we can write 6 times 5 times 4 using factorials as 6 factorial over 3 factorial. Because 6 factorial equals 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 factorial. So dividing by 3 factorial just leaves 6 times 5 times 4. That means we can rewrite our earlier example as 6 factorial over 3 factorial times 3 factorial. To generalize this for other numbers of actors, let n be the number of actors we can pick from, and let k be the size of the cast. On the first pick, we have n choices. Then on the second pick, we have n minus 1 choices, and so on. Notice that the number being subtracted is 1 less than the choice number. So on the kth choice, you have n minus k minus 1 choices, which is n minus k plus 1. Multiplying the choices together gives n times n minus 1 through n minus k plus 1, which can be written as n factorial over n minus k factorial. Now, we have to divide by k factorial because there are k factorial ways to order the k choices. So finally, we get to, wait for it, drum roll please, n factorial over k factorial times n minus k factorial possible casts of k actors chosen from a group of n actors total. This formula is so famous that it has a special name and a special symbol to write it. It's called a binomial coefficient. And mathematicians write it as n choose k equals n factorial divided by k factorial times n minus k factorial. It's powerful because you can use it whenever you're selecting a small number of things from a larger number of choices. With this tool, we can easily compute, say, how many casts of four robots I can come up with when I have, let's say, 12 different robots to choose from. There are 12 choose 4, which if you work it out, is exactly 495. Your final challenge, should you choose to accept it, is to answer some final questions with the binomial coefficient formula. And there won't be any diagrams to help you this time. And you'll be asked to count something other than robots, like let's say plants, or sandwiches, or outfits. <laughs>